let's take a trip to Turkey. First off, read this disclaimer carefully. And like, subscribe, share and comment. Let's first get the big picture. We can see that there is some rotation happening today. I have just updated the data. Big losses in tech. Uh, some action here in real estate, uh, energy and utilities. The megatrends are also hit uh, significantly by the rotation. So big losses here in e-commerce as, as an example. Uh, interactive entertainment. Basically many of these uh, pandemic winners. They were very overvalued and yes, this was bound to happen. Rationality has now hit the market. A bit of a hangover. Okay, um, we will look at the stock market today and it is in what we can call the Middle East. At least it, it's sort of like on the border. That is Turkey. Uh, Turkey is the ultimate uh, loser as far as the 52 week low goes. Um, as far as the 52 week high goes, it is one of the worst performing, but that also makes it a bit interesting. Okay, so if you look here at the seasonality, you can see that we are currently in November. It's a mediocre month. If you look at it against the S&P 500, by the way, you can see here that the January is very strong. So that's interesting. Now we look at it against the S&P. December is actually one of the stronger months and January. So basically there is a bullish uh, season on the horizon. When we look here at the charts, TUR is the ticker, iShares MSCI Turkey ETF, weekly data points and we go all the way back to when it went public. As we can quite clearly see, a big bull market after the financial crisis, but it was very short lived. And Turkey has, has been in a nasty bear market now for 3,007, uh, basically 3,700 days. That's a lot. And the plunge has been an astonishing to the low here, minus 78%. That is super bearish. The thing is, something interesting has happened that um, initially it is just uh, a bounce a trading uh, level but it could become something more significant and that is this double bottom 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 a double bottom here we have a double bottom and uh, it led to you know a 40 percent rally um so basically you know there's reason to think that there could be more upside here and it's not simply you know the the double bottom we will look at multiple um items you also see here that we have a double bottom here on the rsi and there's been a few times before where low rsi has been uh, you know a buy signal turkey is very much um a country in a crisis uh, the turkish lira is it's been plunging but it's, it is starting to reach a point where it, it is so spectacularly bearish that it could become contrarian bullish. So, uh, the election in the United States, it is, it's, it's a mess. But regardless of whether we get Biden Harris or Trump Pence, there's a reason to think that uh, Turkey will be a more strategically valuable partner for the United States. Um, there is a lot of talk about more conflicts actually in the Middle East, uh, in which Turkey would be a strategic uh, ally and Turkey simply cannot afford uh, to um, be too antagonistic there either. And we see that there's more uh, training training now in as far as desert warfare goes and this is something we are seeing in many countries throughout Europe which is a bit of an omen uh, someone knows something I mean you, you when people are training for war in a specific climate that's a hint about what could happen in the future so someone knows something and maybe conflict with conflict with Iran that's possible maybe even Syria but Maybe, I mean, I would pivot more towards, towards Iran, and that will likely happen regardless of who runs uh, the United States.
because contrary to what a lot a lot of people think um the administration you know who is the president president democrat or republican it does have some effect but there are other very powerful players uh, in that uh, country and uh, the military industry is uh, pretty huge and pretty powerful okay so look here at uh, the market uh, minus 41 percent negative correlation with s p 500 Looking here at the daily data points, here you can see the double bottom in a lot more detail. There are some resistance levels, uh, the 200 day moving average in red, as you can see, it's been a very uh, consistent resistance level and support level. Support, resistance, surgical test, rejection, which was a short signal, like it was back here. So the 200 day can certainly be used for trading. Which means that if we do continue to rally up and are firmly rejected, then that could be, you know, a short stick signal. So basically, the bulls currently have um, the upper hand, but they really need to show uh, muscles when it comes to this uh, key indicator because the algorithms they look at indicators and then and then they look at price interaction with that indicator. And in this instance, they de will definitively uh, weight it uh, towards, you know, a bearish uh, setup based on the most prior recent history. The accumulation distribution is showing that there are bulls buying uh, shares. That's interesting. There's absolutely no correlation really with the S&P 500 on the shorter time frame. Minus 25% uh, year to date. Options are available. It is also shortable. That's interesting. Here you can see some trend lines drawn here by Finwis. If we go here to the PE 7.6, that is, uh, you know, cheap. The dividend is 2.4%. That's decent. If you go here to holdings. A bunch of uh, companies. Let's uh, look at uh, you know the sector breakdown. A very nice balance between sectors. So it's a nice diversification. Market cap uh, certainly towards uh, the large caps, but at least there is some balance. But you know there is a lean for sure towards large cap. And no huge surprise when it comes to regional breakdown and uh, market tire breakdown. Okay. Hence, to sum up my take here on Turkey. I think that there's reasons to be speculatively bullish, um, but this is this is very speculative. Uh, long term, the bears have definitively been very much in control, but it is reaching a point now where there's so much pessimism, uh, so much doom and gloom, that it makes sense to look for bullish opportunities. But as I as I told you there, there were were some indicators that we could look at for bearish uh, setups but um yeah i'm leaning more bullish uh, at this uh, point as far as the political setup um there's reason to think that turkey will be strategically important because if there is more conflict in the middle east then turkey will continue to continue to play a key role as far as um migrations uh, go Whatever you do, of course, you want to be super careful in this market because um, this is, as I said, it is 2020. Nothing is uh, as it usually is. You know, there's nothing uh, to be complacent about. Uh, as far as uh, we know, um, Bigfoot might, you know, uh, be the president um, at the end of the year. Maybe we, we will have an alien invasion. I mean, who knows? I mean, this is really a very strange uh, time. And that is something that gives um, the more uh, strat strategic actors in the world a lot of power as well. Because when people are very used to big changes, then big changes can be implemented quickly. So that's that's something to be a bit aware of. Is that the 2020? It is a wild. Uh, it's a wild year meme. That is something that the smartest people actually know how to turn to their advantage. So be a bit aware of that.